What were you doing today? Because I heard you left Coachella to come and perform tonight. So you were the robot, you were firing the beams, and well, tell us what you were doing. Well, basically, we did a um, we did a, a performance act with a with a dance crew that is actually regulars here. We all came together and we did this huge sort of EDM style performance to one of Martin Garrix's tracks. And we had two cryo men, these giant ten foot tall robots, on the sides of the stage, like that. Okay. And then it was like a like a hidden performance. Like I, I haven't aired this on TV. This is like the the, the network premiere of this actual oh, performance. Wow. Last time I did, I did a tour with Steve Aoki, thirty dates, six weeks. The thing was amazing. And um, when we revealed the show tonight, it just exploded. Like, it was amazing. Blew the room up. Okay, so you performed at Coachella. What was it like actually being on that DWTS stage tonight for you? Was it different? Uh, I mean, I've done a, I've done a fair bit of uh, TV in the past, but tonight it was, it was electric, man. It had something special about it. It was really, really good. My, my show we went hands down. One of the best I've done, so it's really good. And how long have you been doing these types of shows? Um, I mean, I've been in the music industry for about 15 years, something like that. And this specific show, I've only I designed it and built it like about a year ago. Okay. And I've been working with that, but I have like a, a massive background with uh, with like live performances and tours and stuff like that. So. Do you find it odd where people are getting to discover you now, and some people might think of you as an overnight sensation when you've been at it for 15 years? It's a story of the music industry, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. It's, it's this funny thing is, is like you know, you could, you exist in your world and you have all your fans and everybody around you and like so many different universes can exist like different people in their fan networks and until you actually step into the world you never really really understand actually how big of a network people have right, absolutely. and it's very cool because people can exist and you'll never know they're even there but then when you enter into that world all of a sudden you're like holy you know it's amazing okay so now that you've dazzled us here on ABC yeah. and to the 20 million people watching what's next where are you going next after this uh, I mean, I'm continuing on my own tour. I'm actually a DJ producer as well, so I have my full live show. Um, Hex 3D, the actual robot show that we have, the Cryoman Hex 3D, that's getting shipped out to Europe. It's doing uh, 30, 30 events uh, across something like a three month schedule. I'm going out on tour with, with Akon for a while. Nice. And then I'll be coming back and continue with my own tour, China, and a few other bits and pieces. So. Awesome. So, where can the fans follow you? Because we're a huge super fan network. We're all through oh, Twitter. Are? Absolutely. So, where do they follow Cryoman? Right, you can get into all of the robot action, all the cool stuff that we do. You can go at Cryoman on Twitter, at Cryoman on Instagram, uh, Cryoman Official on Facebook. As Cryoman spelled K R Y O M A N. And it's a shirt, everybody. There you so, go, okay, right here. what we do at After Buzz, we sign off with a saying, Buzz you later. So, on the count of three, I'm JC, and for Cryoman, one, two, three. Buzz, buzz you later, later. Cryoman. <laughs>